No idea. Huh? Yeah, yeah, but for purpose. Anyway, wait, ladies and gentlemen, come, 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 faster. Recording started already. I forgot to share with you the 108. This 108, we go back to chapter 4 for, uh, for la one last thing. The sketch is very important. Sketch is very important. 108. Turn to page 108. For as for the cost, right? The most important three cost curve is MC, AC, and AVC. Right? So I'm sharing with you, I will share with you how to sketch right now. Pay attention. Yeah, 108. Forgot, forgot to sketch. Right? So in here, you just need to put costs. Unless you really like to write a lot, then you can put AC, comma, ABC, comma, MC. Unless you really like to write a lot, right? Normally you put cost and Q. Cost can cover everything so that it will not make wrong mistakes, right? How to draw? Normally you draw MC first. Huh? This one we draw MC first. MC looks like a Nike sign. Very steep U shape. Steep U shape. So this is MC, right? Okay. Second cost curve, we can draw A, B, C, or A, C first up here. Same. So let's say I draw A, B, C first. This is A, B, C. A, B, C must touch the MC at A, B, C minimum point. So once you intersect with the MC, straight away go up, it will be the minimum point. All right. The last part is A, C. Eh? Hello. This is not a toilet. Do I do I teach you before? No, right? Your friend, eh, your friend, ah? who? Who's friend? He doesn't recognize his lecture, obviously, right? And he's, he's still high to me, like, like he's my, my class, no? <laughs> yes, AC is same shape like ABC, ah? but AC is on top. Because AC includes ABC and AFC, right? So AC on top, same thing, it will cross through AC at a minimum point. This is how you draw the tree, how you sketch the tree, put the product name on top. Your best, I heard a lot of people swelling root words. I'm not a vision, bro. Gostin, outside corridor, Gostin, waiting, and score. Then some people draw wrong, wrong curves, then score root words. When did I even score rules to your before? Can you learn, learn from me? Those are product names. Product Vision Pro. Wow. Apple Vision Pro, whatever. Until now, you still cannot come up with your own product name. Is there any product name there in the title? No, right? No, then just whatever. Yeah, product name. Yes, very specific. Whatever you like. La. You want to put what? Hot and roll, so time. Uh... <laughs> no, no. Hey, yes, done. Okay, why we need this curve? Practice five times first, uh, because this curve we're going to use in chapter five right now. This curve we're going to use in chapter five right now. Right? Right now. Okay? Make sense? Always MC, cross to AC and AC at their minimum point. This is also the to fulfill the objective of helping the producers to find cost minimization. Again, we found one easy way. We just need to set MC equals to AC. We can help them to find lowest cost. Make sense. We can help them to find lowest cost. Just by setting MC equals to AC or ABC. Make sense? Understand? Any questions? Okay, that's the last part for course. Huh? Let's go to chapter five now, finally. Woo. Chapter five is about three types and four types of market structures. You need to know all the four, right? We start with perfect competition. Perfect competition, the name suggests it's perfect. Huh? But perfect things is very hard to find in the real world, right? Right? Although I have four eyes, but I have five perfect one. Very hard to find, seriously, right? Some look very beautiful, but don't know how to cook. Some know how to cook, but, but very fierce. Some very fierce, but very beautiful. Uh, uh, you think what, Merlion? Uh? Mix, mix, mermaid and... Okay. Uh? 
<laughs> no, no perfect one in the world. Seriously. Okay, anyway. That's why you have to four. Have to have four. Why four only? Four man. Black thing, man. Four. One, two, three, four. You don't know? I'm a blink. Black thing got four. Make sense? Okay. So in this chapter, the main objective, this is your learning objective. Right? Okay, structure, you need to know all their characteristics. There are five characteristics each. You need to know the price and output decision. You need to know how to draw and explain profit and loss. Because the main objective for this chapter is the most important objective for producers. What's the most important objective for producers? They want to maximize profit. The most important one is maximize profit. Until now, we haven't talked about maximize profit. This chapter we talk about maximize profit. Okay. But before we know about profit, you need to know what's revenue first. Because you learned the cost already. Last week. Is it last week? This week? Cost? This week? But you haven't talked about revenue, ma. Revenue minus cost, then only it will become profit. So you need to talk about revenue first. Perfect combination is a uh, or N something. Right? It's a market structure or a market that consists of many firms. Very simple, very simple definition. Right? Perfect competition is a market that consists of many firms. Right? This means what? Because there are many firms, every firm is competing with each other. A lot of competition, very high competition. Right? Just like you're not. You're not, not a bad competition, sorry. Okay? I will use the another use you all for another example next time. Each firm must because all of them compete with each other very quickly. They must accept whatever price that is set by the price equilibrium, the market equilibrium, right? There will be equilibrium price. Yen Yang ah, iPhone fifteen ah, Samsung S twenty four ah. No, then what you take out or? Member Xia Sui Gan what you say? Member Xia Sui Gan, right? That's why I never take out my phone because my phone is also my Persia second. <laughs> yes. You? Chocolate banana. Banana or strawberry? Strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry with lychee. Yes, sir. Yuck. Anyway, let's continue. Makes sense, huh? Which means what? Later you will see when there's a demand and supply. This is chapter 5. What? Oh, wait. Wow, lucky I went to start chapter 5. Phew. Now I go to chapter 5, why bother? Oh, lucky you. Okay. Chapter 5, lecture 36. 20 second. Wait, okay, which means, huh? Later you'll see the perfect competition because the competition is very fierce, they cannot set their own price. That's why they always take this price. Oops. They always take this price as their price to sell. They cannot set their own price. Okay. For example, most of the examples in perfect competition, they are agriculture market or horticulture, right? Or farm, farm products. Farming products are like eggs, milk, right? Agriculture and horticulture are like fruits, vegetables, cherries, apples. Okay. In case, uh, in case you're not good with coming up with fruits and vegetable names, next time I'm going to play you your childhood favorite vegetable song or fruit song. Apple, uh, orange, uh, lettuce, uh, what is it? Okay? Just in case you run out examples, you know, when you want to write your final. Okay? No worry. Or you like or prefer baby shark also? Can I? Have I played baby shark already? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I should play what? What else you all know? Uh? Lao Su Ai Tami. Is this your chow song? Huh? Yes, sir. Because red itself is a homogeneous product. The rice itself is also a homogeneous product. So it's perfect combination. All right, anyway. So yeah. Don't, you can ignore them. I also don't understand the song. Okay. So there are five characteristics for each competition. This is the first type of competition, which is known as perfect competition. Yeah. What combination is this? This model is the model. All right. 
First one, there are many firms and many buyers. Right? There are many firms and many buyers, which means the supply is only a very small proportion of the supply curve. Example, if this is the supply curve, the supply of one company is only like that. Then this is the supply of another company. This is the supply of third company. This is the supply of fourth company. Add it up to become market supply. Make sense? Because there are so many suppliers in the market. So many sellers in the market. That's why it's many firms. But at the same time, there are many buyers. Who, who opened? Echo. Anyone open? Open mic, open mic. Please close your mic. Mute your mic. You are. Hidden, uh. You look guilty, eh? Your eyes. Just tell me you are guilty. Huh? Hmm? <coughs> you see? Affect my case already. Okay, wait, what did I say? What did I say just now? Hmm? Oh, you want to open up? Oh, you're so nervous. So FOMO one. You know what's FOMO or not? You know what's FOMO? FOMO, you know what's FOMO? F O M O? Fear of Fear of missing out. FOMO, F O M O. No homo la yo. Always misunderstood me one. Always put wrong words in my mouth. FOMO means fear of missing out. FOMO. F O M O. Okay, open already, open already. Happy? Okay, many firms, but at the same time, also many buyers. Like vegetables, right? There are many sellers, there are also many buyers. They are more and more and more people, I don't know why you all want to change for, from only wall into herby wall. Very scary now, more and more vegan, vegan around me. Sometimes I want to eat butter tea also, I feel. <laughs> yes, what is this? Because you just need to refresh, right? Right, so more and more vegan means more and more buyers. At the same time, a lot of sellers. Make sense? This vegetable. I will, I will discuss more later. Price sticker, again. It's price sticker. Right? Price sticker means that they can only take the equivalent price as their selling price. They cannot simply change their price. If they change their price, they might lose their sales. Third one is no barriers of entry or exit. No barriers of entry or exit means, right? It literally costs almost no cost on don't need any resource to start a business. To start a business. You can enter the business or exit anytime you like. No barriers, right? Number four is homogeneous. Ah, this is your homo. What is homo? You like LGBT, right? Tingxuan! Tingxuan? What is homo? What is homo? Hmm? Hmm? Same. Correct. Makes sense. You know homo is the same? You know it? Homo means same. Uh. Homosexual then only means, means you're LGBT. Uh. Right? Hmm? Oh, that one, oh, that one I know, yeah. Literal, yeah. Right? Make sense? Homo, ah. So the product they sell is the same. Or very look alike. Very look alike. Right? Almost similar. Almost perfect. <laughs> what? Finally, you want to admit your LGBT, is it? Feel free, ah. Feel free. Hey! School rumors show root, root signs. What the hell? No, oh, he just showed me the middle finger. Yeah, I'm not gay. I never say you are. I just said simply only my assumption. Okay, ma. Okay. You cannot stop my assumption. But don't need to show me root root verbal in non-verbal language, man. Right? Yeah, you cannot assume middle finger is root language. True, huh? Actually, you're right. You're right. In some countries, uh, I admit it depends. <laughs> huh? But in Malaysia. I, I cannot <laughs> huh? Okay, next. Means that the products can be substituted easily, uh, homogeneous. The last one is perfect information, which means 
the buyer and seller will know exactly what is the price and how to go into the business, right? Okay, let me start with the example. Since I know most of you need some examples, let's start with this one. First one. No, I only have one anyway. Let's say it's cabbage. Anyone don't know cabbage? Raise your hand. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> cabbage also no, don't know. First of all, cabbage. There are many firms and many buyers, right? If you don't believe, right, you go to. Hmm? No, that one is not 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 purple cabbage. No, no. wait later. I show you that one. We focus on this this one first. Green color purple, uh, green color cabbage, right? Cabbage has many buyers and many sellers. You can see it through Cameron Highlands. In Cameron Highlands, you can see, right? In Cameron Highlands, let's say, ladies and gentlemen, right? Although I teach competition, right? Actually, I don't like competition. So when there's competition, I will lower my voice. Okay? Makes sense, huh? I don't even mind. I want to lower my voice. Because someone is talking, man. I don't like competition. Right? I'm opposite of other lectures. Other lectures will become louder. Oh, that's not the right way. I become softer. Automatic, it will skip by it. Yeah, up to you. Okay. Let's say there are, if you go to Cameron Highland, right, ladies and gentlemen, there are many, many sellers. Right? You know what I mean? There are many sellers. Why? For example, you go to Cameron Highland, the market there, there'll be Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger, orange color one, correct? Uncle Roger with the orange polo tee, right? Selling the veggie. Veggie, oh. sell, 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 green cabbage, 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 right? There'll be anti, anti sell. Anti sell is pink color one. Hmm? YouTuber, man. Anti sell, anti sell also selling cabbage one, right? It'll be like that. Anti sell. There will also be what? Epic Asian. Epic Asian also selling cabbage one, or? but wearing cap one, or? Epic Asian wearing a cap like that. Make sense so far? Make sense? Hmm? Look like what? My drawing not nice, man. Eh? Okay. I always believe my drawing is for entertainment only, it's not for education, so. <laughs> okay, make sense. The two don't know, don't know what one am I saying. Very half, half, top, top, speak, 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 half, half, top, speak, speak. What, what am I saying? Who is this guy? Who is this girl? Woman? Who is this guy? And then going to clear my subject. Huh? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Cabbage. Cabbage, huh? No, I said lettuce. I hope no one is cabbage, huh? Lettuce, no? Lettuce, one. Huh? Okay, there are many sellers. At the same time, there will be many buyers. Right? Many buyers, many buyers, many buyers. Right, buy, 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 buy. Like that. Make sense? This is the first characteristics. Any question? First characteristic, no one. Uh. Second, they are price taker. What is price taker? You see, uh, look, if you look at price taker, what, what it means? They will set a price like that one. Uh. Normally, they'll put a cardboard in here, something like that. Maybe five ringgit per kilo, right? Every price will be the same one. Uh. Correct not? Everyone will sell five ringgit per kilo in the same market. Make sense? This shows their price ticket. Why? You see, Uncle Roger is very naughty one. Uh. Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger say, huh, five ringgit, not enough for me to fried rice. So, he charge higher price. Let's say, he increase. Yeah, he need to buy MSG, my very expensive uh, MSG, right? Let's say he go and charge, uh, hey, why become accident? Let's say he charge 10 kilo, uh, 10 ringgit per kilo. And the, the consumers, right? Look at this one, this one 10 ringgit, this one 5 ringgit, 5 ringgit. Will the consumer buy from Uncle Roger? No. 
So he will have no sales on that day. Make sense? So in the end, he has no choice but to decrease back to firing it. This price ticker. What if I decrease the price? You may be wondering. What if Uncle Roger, huh, everyone sells so expensive. Let me do some corporate social responsibility. Do some donation. I want to do charity. I decrease, I dec reduce it to two ringgit per kilo. If I reduce two, two ringgit per kilo, everyone will buy from who? Will buy from Uncle Roger also. But what happened to this two? Everyone will buy from this, this guy, right? Uncle Roger. What happened, what happened to the two? Anti sell will also reduce to two ringgit per kilo. Application will also reduce to two ringgit per kilo. In the end, their customers will buy back from their own supplier and everyone will be worse off. So they will not be dumb enough to decrease their price as well. So the best state is to maintain five ringgit per kilo. This is what we call price taker. You cannot set your own price. You increase your price, die. GG. You decrease your price, also GG. You may be making losses and everyone go out of business together. Right. In terms of market structure, what we are discussing right now is we are not talking about one industry. We are talking about one firm. One industry is the West market. The West is supply curve. One firm. This is firm A, firm B, firm C. How to help one firm, one company in the industry to maximize their profit. Make sense? It's different from one industry. Uh. Make sense? Because one industry got many sellers. Okay, this is second characteristic. Third characteristic is no barriers of entry or exit. Right? Since you all talk so much, What's your two name really? Is it? What's the name? You two? Huh? You two like what's the name? Blue black. Blue black. What's the name? Blue black. Huh? 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 <laughs> It's and Vita, Oh, sorry. Hey. Hey, no, no, yeah, Vita, man. Yeah, la, you talk so much. Yo, you all never talk, man, just now. I heard you're talking. No? No, David? No, they're talking, man. Yeah, earlier, yes, okay, but now, no. Oh, yeah, la, earlier, la. I say earlier, man, not now, man. Okay, Victor, Victor. What is no barriers of entry again? Means using no cost, uh, literally no cost. Uh. Tenzian, how much is cabbage seeds? Do you even know cabbage has seeds? Oh. So, so, how to teach? Now teach farming also don't know. Everything also. Starting from car, bags, drama, then manga, anime. Until now, still don't know. Apa pun tak tahu. Right? Yeah. Let me show you Kevin Sitz. Uh. Don't tell me no. Uh. My second wife is from Cameron Highland. Right? Trust me. Yeah, I know. Too rich until they never see the cabbage. Huh? Yeah, true also. Maybe you are too rich until they never eat the cabbage. Okay, Kevin Sitz. Uh. These are cabbage Sitz, ladies and gentlemen. How much is Kevin Sitz from Baba Smart? How much? Two ringgit. Uh. Anyone don't have two ringgit? Give it to me. Two ringgit. Very low barriers of entry. If you want to start a cabbage business, if you want to start a farm cabbage, you just need two ringgit. Does that make sense? So it's no barriers. It's not even low. It's no barrier of entry. Right? If you don't have the two ringgit, you go and kneel down right now. Then you put a carpet there. I'm sure you can get a two ringgit. Very low return. Seriously. No, you, you just need to pay your shirt. I help you. Cut, <laughs> pay. Looks, looks nice, would he? Maybe it will. It can even help you. Already I'm Yeah, your hoodie looks like blood. Then you add some blood tomato ketchup. 
Okay. Huh? Nice, ah. Uh, but yeah, makes sense. So it's no barriers of entry or exit. Two ringgit. Anyone don't have two ringgit? E wallet. Transfer to me. Uh. E wallet. Right. This one credit card black color, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did I pull it before the senior? Use use the uh, black visa card to draw the card. <laughs> Don't have fun to buy ruler. Very, very, very pretty. Right? Huh? Now using what card already? Card already? This one. Ruler. Okay. So, this is no barriers of entry. Oh, I see. Let's say I really is very bad in farming the cabbage. I want to exit. All oh, my cabbage died. Can or not? Two ringgit. Can I see or not? Anytime. Uh. Two ringgit only. Sometimes your drop also more than that. Uh. You eat one high tilau, how much? 350 ringgit, right? Right, eat one time. Your limited edition show, how much? 700, right? No, simply only. Simply. Okay, make sense? So, two ringgit, everyone. If I don't have the green fingers, uh, is it? It's not in green fingers. Green fingers means, or green touch up, huh? green fingers. Means I am not good with plants. Huh? If I'm not good with plants, right, I can leave the cabbage and I can go to other mar market easily. Number three, number four, homogeneous product, right? If you look at the Uncle Roger store, Auntie Cell and Epic Asian store, or recently, very, the entire Taiwan is very, very, very mess. Yesterday I watched application talking about the entire Taiwan entertainment industry. Yes. Oh my God, so messy. Huh? In uh, what? Jocelyn Cha. <laughs> that one also STUPID. Sorry, I'm not allowed to say the word to, I can, but I can spell the word. The, the Jocelyn Cha is very STUPID. Uh. Very STUPID. Huh? Huh? Wow, humiliate Malaysia. Okay, never mind. Okay, not my problem also. Huh? She got cancer. She got cancer. Cancel. Okay, I thought she got cancer then, then good. Okay, anyway, number four is what already? Homogeneous. You see, uh, if Uncle Roger, Auntie Cell, and Epi the cabbage they sell is the same. Makes sense. You want to go to this store and buy, they taste also same. Don't argue with me, you got purple cabbage. If one store sells purple cabbage, other store also sells purple cabbage. Right? Same. If one store sells Chinese, hmm? which one is more fresh? Also, oh, the taste is the same. Taste is the same. From the same supplier. Okay. Harder and softer with what? Kyap kyap. <laughs> I overcook already. I use my kyap kyap to cook. Oh my god. Oh, because you feel that the, the cabbage leaf is not curly enough. Uh. So you want to, it, it's too curly. It's not to straighten your cabbage. So you use your gap cap. Uh. <laughs> right, anyway. So you know what I mean? Uh? The taste is also the same. The color is also the same. That's why it's known as homogeneous product. On left, attention. Uh. Okay, Chakai, pay attention, Chakai. Okay. Make sense, huh? Homogeneous product. Make sense? Make sense? The last one is what? Perfect information. Hey, your iPhone 15, huh? iPhone 15. Don't take out, lah. Not enough, lah. Huh? Don't, not enough, don't take out. 20, ah? Uh? iPhone 15, 21, ah? Uh? Not 20, 31. Don't, 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 don't take. Okay. What is perfect info? Perfect info means what? Okay, homogeneous are another thing. You will not see other taste one, like this one. Have you even see, ever seen chocolate flavored cabbage before? Oh. Is there any durian flavored cabbage? Have, have you ever tasted wasabi flavored cabbage before? No. They will not change the taste. Right? Because you are selling homogeneous product. If you sell also, you don't need to eat. That's the homogeneous product. That's the perfect combination. Make sense? You all prefer what? Chocolate flavored cabbage or cabbage flavored chocolate? <laughs> now just to test your whether you're here. Okay, make sense? No, because there was there was one drama. They asked the actor asked another actor, hey you prefer chocolate flavor sheet or sheet flavor chocolate? 
<laughs> right, to answer. Okay. okay, so this is the Homo genus product. The last one is what? Perfect info. For perfect info, everyone also know how to grow a gene without referring to Google. What do you need? Water, sunlight, carbon dioxide. You don't need soil, glucose, soil. That's all. Make sense? Everyone will have the exact same info. This is known as perfect info. Okay? Make sense? This is no barriers. Another for no, no barriers also. Other than perfect info, the no barriers, people cannot stop you from entering the market as well. Right? The, uh, the farmers inside already, they cannot stop you from planting the farm, planting the veggie. Right? There's no barriers. Any question on the five characteristics? Any question on the five characteristics? No? Who? Oh. Now I will share with you the diagram. Take note on the diagram. Uh. Take note. Uh. Diagram always come out. Uh. You can ask a senior. Uh. Uh, senior. Page. Uh. You don't need to cover a page. Because I will ask you to draw the entire thing together. Later. This one is just the first curve on it. Right? Notice uh, what I'm talking right now. The five markets, the four market structures. I'm not talking about market. Uh. This is a market. I'm talking about one firm only inside the average market. One company. So there's no such thing as downward sloping demand and upward sloping supply. Right? Then why I need to show this? First thing I can show you is price ticker. How do we get the price? From the equilibrium price, we draw a dotted line, then we can find this demand curve. This demand curve is perfectly elastic. Why perfectly elastic? Isabel? Isabel? Why perfectly elastic? Why perfect combination has perfectly elastic demand curve? Yes, you're right. You're okay? Because they are selling homogeneous product. The homogeneous product is too many and, and all the taste is the same. Unless you really find one chocolate flavor cabbage. Right, and let me taste, right? The taste is the same, the color is the same. Only the size maybe a little bit different, right? It's too many choices, too many substitutes until it becomes perfectly horizontal. That's why for perfect combination, the demand is always Horizontal or perfectly elastic demarcus. Okay, this is the shape of the demand curve for perfect. Make sense? Make sense? Okay. Any questions so far? No? I just asked for fun only. You don't need, don't need to answer me that question. Right? Then yeah, why game changer? You have so many questions. What question? Shia. You shy of me. I'm sorry. My fault, my fault. I, I forgot to tell you. Actually, I'm introvert. Yeah. I'm extroverted introvert. Okay, now we will stop the perfect competition for a while. You need to focus on revenue first. Because just now I told you what our main objective is. Main objective in this subject, in this topic, not this subject. This topic is to maximize profit. Profit, we use pi to represent in econs, in micro. Pi is profit. Pi is a P, uh, but P we use for price already. So we use pi, Greek letter, to represent profit. Right? Maximize profit. Make sense? However, you already learn cost. Your cost is in chapter 4. You already know. This one, chapter 4. Now, you need to know the revenue in chapter 5. Then you must know the profit in the end will be equals to revenue minus cost. Then only we can find profit maximization. So you need to also know the revenue curve before we move on. So we will go to the revenue. Revenue also got three, same thing only. Actually, all these things are same. Total average marginal, total average marginal, right? Total revenue 
formula is TR equals to P times Q. This one you already know in chapter two when we do, talk about elasticity revenue. When we talk about the hotel, want to charge different rates, the phone, phone company want to charge different rates, their revenue will be different, right? TR is equal to P times Q. This one no problem, no? Average revenue is a little bit special. So listen closely. Average revenue has this concept. Average revenue is equal to what? Average revenue is equal to total revenue divided by Q. But here is also equal to P times Q. So if you substitute one into two, you will find out AR is equal to P times Q over Q. So AR is always equal to price in all the subjects, not only economics. Make sense? Average revenue is always equal to the price. Make sense? Price is equal to AR. AR is equal to price. So if we get the price, we got the AR. Make sense? Hello, you all understand or not? You all understand, okay. You all understand, uh, let's say you sell Rabina in your school carnival. Rabina. How much is your Rabina now? Nowadays you sell in school carnival. Never sell before. Yeah, lot cabbage also never see. Impossible, no, it's Rabina, right? You only drink black currant drink from a five star hotel, right? Don't know it's Rabina, right? So, what else do you know? What, what do you all know? What do you all sell? Huh? What? Cheese, ah? Yes, I heard cheese. You sell cheese? What cheese? Edom. Edom cheese. Edom cheese. <laughs> okay, Edom, Edom. Cheese considered a homogeneous product. Which country I eat the Edom on? The taste is the same. Let's say we sell Edom cheese. La. Right? Edom cheese. Oh yeah, Edom cheese by that should be yellow color. Right? Very specific one. Edom cheese. Let's say I go and sell cheese in school carnival. Okay. Fine. I don't understand, but anyway. Let's say I sell five ringgit per slice of Edom cheese. Yeah, I know it's very cheap. Hmm? I know I didn't eat I know Indian cheese is very expensive. What it means I assume it's very cheap. Because if I charge the price too high, you don't know how to count. Number is too big. Makes sense, makes sense. So I purposely assume one. Hmm? Yeah, like Indian cheese, right? Okay. If I sell one, how much revenue I have? This is price, man. If I sell one, how many how much revenue? My total revenue is what? My total revenue is equal to five or correct or not? Right? Then what's my average revenue? Five or very simple man. If I sell two, eh? times two, eh? ten no, my total revenue is ten man. What's my average revenue? Five man. Can you see? It's always the same. Same like what? The price. Okay, Edom cheese. Lucky I'm not Jerry, otherwise I will eat you up. <laughs> Make sense? Make sense? What's the ping should I post in my IG? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, then you will become famous. Because I have quite quite a followers. Quite some lah. Not, not, not a lot of tricks. Okay, anyway. Okay, I post ah. Post ah. Yeah? Steady on. I also steady on. Right? Steady from PP. Ah. Okay, next is marginal. So you know ah, in icons, I don't care about other subjects. In quotes, average revenue always equals the price. If you, you if you talk about third slice, also same. If I sell the third slice, my total revenue will be 15, my AR will still be 5 ringgit. Right? Next one is marginal. Again, marginal is the most accurate measure. Regardless of we talk about product, regardless of we talk about cost, regardless of we talk about utility before, marginal is always the most accurate. So we always want to count marginal. Marginal, the formula is almost the same like average as usual. 
the difference is change. This one. Okay. Take note, ah. Don't mix up, ah. Very important, ah. The difference is what? What's the symbol name? Delta. Delta is what? What's delta? Delta is difference. So it's change of something divided by change of something. It's difference of something divided by difference of something. Right. And what is this? D delta? This is the dy dx. Same thing. D is delta, is change, is triangle. Same thing. Right? Make sense? So now we go to the. Why just now I never give you a break, man? Why you all, you all got kidney problem? Ah? Come on, come on, come on. Hitting on me. Okay? The price is always the same ah, for perfect completion only. Write down. For perfect completion, price is always the same. Price will be always equals to AR. Same, right? Except for the first one, because I never sell anything, AR divided by zero will be dash. See or not? Dash. Not zero, ah, dash, ah, first one. Okay? So, as long as I increase my quantity, my total revenue will increase, but my average revenue will always equal to the same. Because it's the same like the price. Then we found that marginal revenue is also the same for a fair combination. Right? So if you see this, we found that if this one minus this one over this one minus this one, let me use another color in case you're wrong. If we use change of total revenue divided by change of quantity, 30 minus 0 is equal to, it is divided by 1 minus 0 is equal to 30. Still 30. Right? The next one, 60 minus 30 is 30, divided by 2 minus 1 is still 30. So in the end, we found that MI is also the same. But why this time, ladies and gentlemen, why I don't want to put it inside the box? Why I put it in the middle? Why I put the 30 in the middle, in the center? Not the dotted line, not under the dotted line. Why? Any idea? Keegan? Keegan, smart boy, I should know. Keegan, where? Oh, Keegan. Keegan, why? Eh? Why I put in the middle here? Why I don't want to put the dotted line here, then I put the box here? Why I don't want to put like that? I don't want to put inside the box. Why? Any idea? Because marginal is gradient. How oh, many times already? Gradient, regardless of like that or like that, is like that. It's always between the range of two points. It's never a fixed point. That's why, by right, we should put it in the middle. But due to the office limitation, the software limitation, we always have to put a dash there, then only put the in the second column. Makes sense. This one is due to the software technology limitation, right? If we can, we should put it in the middle one for the marginal, right? Okay, that is for the marginal. So we found that this one is equal to this one is equal to this one. So when you draw next time, when you draw your demand curve for perfect competition, you should put here P, here R. Your demand curve is always perfectly horizontal at the price of P, and D should be equals to MR, equals to AR. Because in perfect condition, they are overlapping. They become the same curve. That's why. Make sense? Can join, can not join. But I don't like to draw joining. Because AR by right, divide by one, it will be undefined. Divide by zero, it will be undefined. But most of the times, they draw joining together with the axis. Huh? Right? If you look at some books, right? They will draw touching the axis. Some books will draw not touching. But it's up to you. Lah. Later, when I show revenue, where's the revenue? I have to touch the demand curve to the axis. Any questions so far? Victor, pay attention, Victor. So there are two ways to maximize the profit. Now we go to the objective. Right. One way is total, one is marginal. Marginal is more accurate than total. 
but you still need to know how to count total, right? How to find total? Total just now really show the method. Total is means what? Total means we find this total revenue, total cost. Then we find which value for profit is the largest. Oh? This is how we find total. We want to maximize profit. Man. So in this table, we look at this two, this three. Which one is the profit maximization level? Which quantity should I produce? Or should I sell to maximize profit? Which one? Please enlighten me. Eight and nine, right? I heard someone say eight or nine, right? Then which one? It's not a range. No 8.5. Don't take average. This is the problem with total. Total always have two values. A lot of producers, they don't know which one is the profit maximizing. Make sense? Right? So the correct way, if you want to use total, is should use the bigger number. Bigger number is the profit maximizing level. When we talk about this word level, it means quantity. When I ask you what is the profit maximizing level, please write quantity, don't write the price. Make sense? So the quantity, the profit maximizing level in this level means quantity uh, is how much? Nine units of cabbage is where they, when they sell nine units of cabbage, this is where they maximize their profit. Makes sense. However, if we use the MI equals to MC, the margin approach, this one, there's no such problem. It was always very accurate. So using this same table, now we look at these two columns. Which one is the profit maximizing where MI equals to MC? Can you see from the back? Which one is MI equals to MC? Which one? Straight away, you know that there's only one to choose. Am I equals to MC is at the output nine. There's no such thing as two numbers. Makes sense. Oh, yo. Can I do the can I do the death and right together? Sitting like a bee, baby. Don't always take out your phone. Don't always take out your phone. I also can take out my phone, man. Man. It's like Siri. Okay. I should play the Siri song together with your ID. What's the series song, eh? Ah, something like that. Is it? Is it that song? I'm going to look for the song for, for my TikTok. Right? Okay? Make sense? Any question on how to find revenue maximization? Why is it wrong? Eh? Because this one is wrong because if I sell one more, I can get one more revenue. Although this number is the same, right? But if I can sell more wedgie, why not? Eh? Or why not? If I store my wedgie also same, why don't I sell one more and I get one more eh? like that? Make sense? Make sense, huh? Yeah, this good question, but they cannot hear the question. What did, what did you say just now? If eight and nine, why you have to choose nine? Why eight is not? Why eight is wrong? Because as a producer, I want to sell as many products as possible. Yes, I want to maximize my also my sales, ma. Right? They are. Ah, headache already. Yes. Hi. Highlight you back, ah. For you, right? Let me just share with you some extra business knowledge, ah. You. There are four four main types of objective for firms, ah. One is maximize product. Another one is minimize cost. There also one more is maximize sales. 
the also one more is maximize revenue. Different. Later I'll show you. The last one is maximize profit. Every firm will do different objective. Economics only help them to do this one and this one. Makes sense. Why do you want to make such product? Eh? This one is normally for NGOs or government department. They don't care about the sales, they just want to share or they just want to donate as many as possible. For government department, they just want to serve as many customers as possible, except for your government. Right? Make sense? They don't care about others. For cost, eh? this one is for private sector. Private sector want to minimize cost. They also want to maximize profit. So this two is for private sector. Maximize sales, eh? Is for marketing companies. They don't care about the revenue. They just want, oh, I sell one more customer. I sell one more customer. This one is the sales. This one is normally for those, those recording the credit card companies, you know, selling credit cards. They look at the sales number, not the revenue. Makes sense. The last one is also, the last one is revenue. Revenue is those who want to maximize revenue, but they don't want, maybe they are startup. They don't care about the profit. They just want to, okay, let me sell more first. Later only I increase my price to get more profit later. So different firms have different objectives. This too is teach by marketing or business. Okay, and our subject is we focus on maximize product, minimize cost, and maximize profit. Make sense? Okay, this additional for you. I will not test you on this, right? Now we focus on total approach I already told you. The profit in maximize is eight or nine, so you just choose the larger quantity, right? So where's the profit? Where's the profit? In this diagram, this is the total curves. No intercept, ah. Huh? Intercept is break even point. Max, ah, uh, or business. Uh, Account. Uh, business. Max, ah. Max, ah. Okay, so the profit should be here, which means if eight or nine, it means both distance also same. Eight or nine here, like that. Make sense? TR minus TC is profit. So the difference is this is break even. Okay, make sense, huh? Business math learn already. Huh? Don't tell me don't don't know what's break even huh? because we're going to use. Oh, you Chatun, I miss you already. Chatun, huh? wait, what was the name? Eric. Henry. Huh? Harry. Huh? Harry Potter Harry, or very Harry. Okay. Next one is MI equals to MC. Like what I say, the most accurate one, there's only one answer one normally, MI equals to MC. That's why we we'll always use marginal approach when we want to draw diagram later instead of total. Because marginal is more accurate and it's easier to find. We don't even need to count. MI equals to MC, as, the, as long as the value is correct, the same, then they are profit maximization. Total revenue, we still have to count minus, 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 minus. Then only you get a profit, then only you count. Makes sense. Okay. That's why this one is the most accurate approach diagram. Where is the profit maximizing level? In it. This is MR and one is MC. MI, we just learned already, D equals to MI equals to AR is perfectly elastic. MC is a Nike sign. Wow, you really have kidney, Quite kidney failure. Five minutes for what? Come on. Finish this. Boys are mostly got kidney problems. <laughs> oh, most of the boys went out already. Hey, hello, Pini. Q2, huh? Q2, huh? Correct or not? Why Q2? MR is different from total. Huh? MR equals to MC is intersection. Here. So later when we draw diagram, we want to find where's MI equals to MC. Because we want to help them to aim for profit maximization. Okay? Make sense? This is MC you learned this in previous chapter. MC, Nike sign. Right? MR is perfectly horizontal. Make sense? Why not this? Why not this area? Why? I thought this one is very big, man. Why not Q1? 
Any idea? Yi Chang? Nope. Because this, if if I if I use this point, right, this are just the difference for one one unit only. Marginal. Marginal is additional one unit only. The profit for one unit only. What I want is not one unit. I want total. Total means what? I want the entire area. So this point is the best. Okay? Make sense? Then there are three types of profit. This one you need to think, no, no. Oh, you no time already. Huh? Maybe I'll share with you next time. Huh? Because this one requires a lot of drawing. All right? Next time as in... After your... Progress. Review. Huh? Okay? Make sense, huh? PIP will end this Sunday, 11.59 p.m. For those who haven't done, please do so. Hey, I haven't assigned homework. What you keep? Your book. Homework, huh? Chapter 5, we don't have extra practice. We straight, we give you a final exam paper. Final exam paper is behind your chapter 5. Please do perfect combination. Let's see whether I have perfect combination. Oh yeah, there's no perfect combination here. Are you weird? Then you'll do... You have to study for the PC, ma, cannot. PC, huh? Okay, now okay, you'll study PC. You'll do the notes, huh? I don't assign how... Do the one-page note. Okay, bye. See you.